Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to day 26 of designing an island in 30 days without Nintendo Online. It is an extremely rainy day today but we're gonna go ahead and do our daily routine. I'm gonna check my mail, look for my bottle on the beach, plant my money tree, shake my trees, and water my flowers. Objection. And I don't have to water my flowers since it's freaking pouring rain. I'm gonna see if any of my villagers are crafting as well. I've been severely slacking on getting my crafting villagers every day. It is not Felicity, unfortunately. Oh, Mitzi's cooking. What you making? I haven't talked to her since I invited her from the villager hunt. Oh, I'm sorry, Mitzi. Thank you so much for the salad recipe. Thank you. Let's also see what Nooks has today. <gasps> yes, we have a lily pad table. It's not froggy chair, but hey, we at least got the table oh my goodness this poor bridge is still not built yet how much we got in here though currently we have 16,000 bells and donations wow that's pretty good i don't think i put any bells in whatsoever so i'll put in 20k right now and although quack did come and help me yesterday with flowers um yeah there's still a lot <laughs> that's a problem this is a problem for future raven oh my goodness it just gets worse and worse this is so bad this is so bad no this is so bad that's that's an issue okay so of course yesterday we decorated our little campsite loving it loving how it's looking and i do want to keep working on this area today since you know we got a lot of stuff done i just want to continue that progress sorry progress i don't have a shovel though so i'm gonna go grab a shovel real quick honestly there's not a whole lot that i can think of for this um orchard area i am gonna get rid of this tree right here really this is mostly a transition area between the campsite and the little like tea coffee shop i do have a few pieces of some fencing i'm thinking we can put it here i literally only have four pieces i don't know how awkward this will be i started up the island designer app so that i can put some custom design pathing down more easily but i was also thinking a cute little garden lantern right here would be really nice on top of like a little piece of path maybe some planks just in between and the pathways do the same over here and then just putting some more custom designs just kind of like in between the trees so where you can see them if you're looking in you know let's also do some bees i'll put some over here a little butterfly same here okay now i'm gonna work on the path that's gonna be going through here i'm just gonna lead it over here this way oh there's a balloon we got a checkout counter <laughs> nice here is what i'm thinking for the path i think this is pretty good maybe i think it's all right it just leads you this way it, it kind of gets a little weird at the end here if it works it works you know and then and I'll just end it off right here and boom we're here at the campsite okay so there's still quite a bit of empty space even with all of that so i'm gonna try and figure that out i was thinking some flowers would be good right here and then we could do like a table and chair i think that would be really cute we can use our lily pad table that we just got we can have like a cute little sitting area here by the water i'm just gonna grab some extra flowers first and i'm also gonna go get a chair and something to put on top of that lily pad table all right, I got a chair, but of course I'm going to put some custom designs down first. Let's do some little clovers and then we'll do our chair right on top. And then I thought the mom's tea cozy would be cute and it kind of has like a yellowy cup and a yellowy handle on the kettle. So it like kind of matches the table. I thought that was really cute. And then to keep going with our pink and yellow theme, I got some pink and yellow lilies. Wow, that was so rude. Okay, just go where I want you to go. Come on, it's not that hard. And then since I don't want to put a bunch of items here and make it hard to walk around, I'm just going to do some custom designs. I'm going to do a little butterfly over here and I'm just going to keep this rock here. Why not? And then I do want to put some weeds in like these little empty spots, um, but I don't have any. And I was thinking we could also potentially do wheat fields. So I'm going to come back and revisit this section later. But right now I am feeling very motivated to work on this area. It's so cute. I love the little pond. It's adorable. This is my island's natural terraforming. We are going to get rid of some of these trees though because I don't like how they're placed. Oh nice, it got rid of two this time. It got rid of both of the ones that were there. It doesn't usually do that. And I did order a lighthouse. I know, I spent the 5,000 nook miles uh, from the nook stop and I thought that would be really cool on the rocks over here. 
So we're just going to push that all the way in the back. And like if you're at the campsite, you can kind of see it like in the distance. Oh, wait, why is it not turned on? Do I have to like tap it to turn it on? No. Okay. It was already on. Never mind. And I think that's looking good in terms of trees and everything like that. We have this pretty big rock back here too, which I could decorate. I don't know what I would put here though. I was thinking a little retro transportation stop would be kind of cool back here. I don't know if this is looking more farm core. I don't know if this is leaning farm core, but I thought it would be cool like having like a little retro-y abandoned transportation stop. Like maybe the island used to use it before, but not anymore. And nobody knows why. It's a mystery that's unsolved. I don't know, but I got this and I chose this one. This is like the damaged one as opposed to one of the ones that have like a color because this is the only one that has like the white wood of the bench. All the other ones are like dark brown and I didn't really like that, but hopefully these other items that I grabbed will add some color back in here. I got a large mushroom platform. We're going to just toss that back here and i also got a small one a cute little pink one you know what i'm severely lacking i don't have the little ducky crafting recipe i love those ducks i love putting the little ducks everywhere they are perfect to just like throw next to the water and everything like i would do that like on all my islands i would do the rubber ducks on my kid core island i would just do the wooden ducks on my farm core island like they're just so perfect well we can at least put some puddles and we can at least do the little baby chicks maybe they can be by the water instead they're just enjoying a, a nice day in the rain i love it for them okay this is looking good so far i'm liking it i'm liking it i am gonna go grab some more items i have my last piece of glowing moss and i'm gonna sacrifice it right there i thought a wheat field would be cool right here so it's kind of like you get to run through it while you walk through the path i'm gonna do weeds right there and then i thought some sort of little creature would be cute here let's just do this butterfly model i'm just gonna put some of this path and call it a day okay done let's do some cosmos right here i'm gonna do some yellow mums right here some pink tulips over here next to the tree i brought a book to go on top of here like i thought i don't know you could sit at this little bus stop and read very cute and then same deal with this big spot that's right here i'm just gonna fill just a little bit with this custom design path i'm probably just gonna do this little circle yeah just one singular circle. I'm gonna do a wheat field right here. Weeds in the empty spot. I feel like I haven't been using this carrot design enough. I don't know. Maybe I just don't like it as much as my other custom designs, but it definitely needs a little bit of love. Now let's do some butterflies up here. Sprinkle in some weeds. And I'm also doing some clovers, just like literally wherever they fit in. I'm just gonna throw some down. I'm gonna do chickens, chilling under the tree. And yeah, I'm just trying not to clutter up this area too much because I feel like I'll be walking around in it. So I don't want to make it difficult for myself. That's like one of my biggest Animal Crossing pet peeves is when I'm just trying to like run. Like I'm just trying to go zoom in on my island and there's stuff in the way and I'm like bumping into things and not walking forward. I'm like, ah, oh, please. Okay, there's another little circle done. I'm going to do another butterfly model right here, kind of like under the tree. So cute. And then I'm just kind of finishing off with custom designs wherever I think they would go nicely. A rock here, some clovers there you know the drill oh i'm gonna sneak in a garden lantern right here yes okay so let's have a little walk through i think this is really nice so that's looking good and of course lots of exit areas to the beach and this upper part is not decorated whatsoever i don't know i could toss down like the last few remaining things that i have i've got like a little bucket oh i have the papa bear oh i completely forgot about the papa bear is this too like i feel like this is like I don't know, like Goldilocks kind of vibes, like fairy tale. Is that too much? What if he's just like peeking out? I love it though. I love it. I think this time of year is not really helping with the spring core kind of vibe. The grass is just like really dead and everything. So I'm definitely going to be time traveling back to when the grass is just a teensy bit lighter. I think early September. Okay, I'm just putting these items here. They make no sense. They don't, but I'm just throwing them here anyway. We'll do some weeds on the beach. Oh, you know what I would love to put down? Let's do this little lacy parasol. This is like a mysterious little umbrella. Like, ooh, who did it belong to? Why is it abandoned on the beach? We'll never know. Okay, I'm just gonna do weeds and then let's do just like a few custom designs sprinkled in. We can do like a little button, a little rock in the corner and a puddle by the ocean. Okay, done. Beach decorated, all done. Just kidding, one more. Just a button fly over here okay now we're done so yeah i think that's this area done complete finished i'm so happy about it like before this is where i put all my trees i like threw my trees here and now 
it looks like this. Now it's beautiful. So I'm very excited about that. That makes me so happy. I would love to get some more glowing moss and do like maybe the leaf pile DIY, but I'm not quite sure yet. So we're going to hold off on that. I'm also going to fix this because I accidentally dug up this stump the other day and I never replaced it. So let's do that now while we're here and while I have a tree. So this is all looking great. I think I'm going to go take a little breaky break and then we'll come back and keep working on some stuff. I'll probably time travel so we can get out of this dreary weather and stock up on some more items. So yeah, I will see you in just a sec. So I was going to time travel immediately after that, but I had the idea to start working on... Ah, the flower fields that are plaguing my island everywhere because it was raining again and I did not want all of these freshly watered flowers to keep spreading and duplicating all over the place. It was already getting absolutely horrific un and unbearable. So I was like, you know what? Let me just take care of this now. I threw on a YouTube video and just went to town. I didn't get all the flower patches everywhere. There's still a lot up on like the second cliff that's like above this, but this was the main zone that was pretty bad. So I brought a little trash can. I went to town and I just threw them away. I'm sorry I didn't sell them. I know some people get upset sometimes when I don't sell flowers, but like it was barely any, okay? And these are just my native flower and they're like in the basic colors except for like a few hybrids that were accidentally there. I am very glad that I did this. I set my future self up for success and it made everything that I continue to do in this episode just way easier. Like if I hadn't done this, oh my goodness, I probably would not have had the motivation to do the next little build that I do, which spoilers, there's a build coming up. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you get the gist of just how much work this was. I mean, it wasn't as bad as it could have been. Thankfully, it was isolated up on this second cliff and there's not really any big fields like this anywhere else on the island because the rest of the island is surprisingly somehow like mostly decorated. So like I said, there's just that cliff up at the top, our very highest level that's pretty bad. So yeah, eventually I got to this final chunk and it was all clear and ready to go. And again, very glad I did this. Very, very satisfying. Okay, we are here on the next day. I'm going to go ahead and do my daily routine. I'm going to check my mail, look for my bottle on the beach, plant my money tree, shake my trees, and no flower watering today either because it's raining. This area is looking so much nicer now that I cleared out all the flowers and all of the trees. Oh my goodness, that was that was a lot but i'm so glad that i did it it's just like when you finally get a task over with that like you've been dreading and putting off like ah the relief <laughs> even though it's raining again today too thankfully today it's not as like dark and dreary i mean i did time travel a little bit earlier in the day i went to 1 40 p.m but still it's nice it's a nice little drizzle now and our little bridge is built it's so cute i love making them so tiny they're just like so freaking adorable i would like to actually do some decorating here maybe because like we built this bridge and I don't want it to just lead into empty space you know I do have an idea for an extra little build like I've been saying you know since my painting class came out sort of small I wanted to do like another small build I had an idea to do a pottery class I thought that would be fun because I have a lot of stuff for it I have some of like the pots that you can craft like the pitchers and the little modeling clay DIY and like really that's all you really need let's just do that because honestly, I don't know what else to do today. I think I'm going to order those low tables that I have, but those are going to have to come in the mail. So we're probably going to have to time travel another day before I can get started on this. Yeah, I'm going to get one of these or I'm going to get like, oh wow, these are expensive. These are like 8,000 bells. And then I'm also going to order a little bucket. I'm also going to spend almost all the rest of my Nook Miles on this thingy. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to tomorrow. Okay, if you guys don't mind, I'm going to skip daily routine because I feel like we literally just did it. Like all we did is time travel like yesterday and just like looked at the bridge and then time traveled again so at least i checked my mail you know i checked my mail so that's we did one of them oh here's my money tree it's literally right here so there we go we did two things off of the daily routine <laughs> okay i am ready i'm revving to go we got stuff okay so i got all of these tables that i ordered so these are gonna be like the student tables i'm just gonna start working on those first and i also have a teacher's desk in my inventory so i was thinking that could be cute also like that can be the uh, pottery class teacher i don't know but okay this is what i'm thinking and then the teacher's table can be like up here somewhere and then i also got some cushions thankfully i had a bunch of them that were just sitting in my mailbox like i never 
took them out of my mailbox even though I opened them. Here are those last two cushions and that's what I was thinking. And then we have all the stuff that's gonna go on the tables, but I wanna figure out the rest of the furniture first. So I'm thinking the teacher desk, let's see, where is that gonna go? That will probably go right here where these two custom designs are. And then I also have a checkout counter. I was thinking we could put like a pot or something on here and this could be like the example one, right? Maybe, I think I have one with a little more intricate design. Yeah, that can be like the example, like what everyone is trying to make, even though it's not gonna make sense because I have like pictures and other things that are not <laughs> a pot, but whatever, it's fine. And then I was thinking a tree just to add a little bit of height. Let's put one down here too. And then let's put one kind of like on this side as well. Just right here, that's good. So I have no experience when it comes to pottery or anything like that, but I am assuming that you have to have some sort of like water to like shape it and stuff like that. So I was thinking it would be cute if we have a little tin bucket here and that can be like the water that they're using, you know, for the for the clay. And then I thought we could also use some paint cans because, you know, maybe you paint your pieces when you're done with it. So let's see, I'm gonna put this pot there. I'll give this one a little modeling clay. We'll give this one a modeling clay. This one will have a modeling clay as well. That one was like a more basic one. And then we'll do like a picture here. Ooh, cute. Same here. This one has a little dinosaur and we'll do a picture as well. Okay, well that's looking good. So now I just need to go get that teacher's desk and like maybe if I can scrounge up some other items as well to decorate around it with, we'll do that as well. Okay, here we go. I got the teacher's desk. Let's turn it around the other way here. It's not a color that I would typically choose, but you know what? Honestly, I'm just too lazy to go take it to Reese and Cyrus. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. I also thought I could replace the uh, like terracotta classic picture that was on this side with a blue one to match the little dinosaur. And then we could just put it back on the teacher's desk. Sure, whatever. And then I'm just going to do an oil lamp. I don't know why. I just felt like putting it there. And then another assumption I'm going to make about pottery, I assume you put it in like an oven, right? That makes, I think I've seen that before. So I thought that this wood burning stove would be a good addition. And then I'm gonna squeeze in this little tree. I don't know, try to make it feel more like, not like a classroom setting, I guess a classroom setting. I don't know. Let's do a wheat field. And then we can do some little footprints over here. Some weeds to fill in some of the space. Maybe like a little button, but okay, yeah. I mean, this is cute. This is very cute. I think I'm going to start up the Island Designer app and I'm going to work on like a little path to go to the left of this. Oh, let me also sprinkle some flowers around. I totally forgot to do that. Okay, there we go. I think this is pretty good. I don't know where it's going to where it's going to lead or anything, so I just ended it here and same kind of on this side like i don't know what's gonna go right here so i just started it here i thought that a garden lantern would be really cute right here perfect perfect some butterflies would also be very cute right here oh and i had another idea okay i have this Oca ocarina 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 right i don't know my only reference is the ocarina of time i think that's how people say it right okay <laughs> anyway i thought that this could be something that uh the class makes because it looks like it's made like out of uh like clay right it's so small <laughs> but i think that's good i'm gonna do that instead of the pitcher because we already have like three of those over here it would be cool to have like a teacher here let's see i'm just gonna display this little flower dress because this outfit looks kind of teachery so there we go, there's the teacher, <laughs> and here's the pottery class, cute. So now we have like this section, we've got like this whole path. I don't wanna leave it empty like I was saying, cause that's kind of awkward, like empty, 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 and then build. So I am gonna try to make an effort to like decorate them, at least like filler stuff, you know, like flowers, just like the path, whatever. This little corner right here is also bothering me. Can we please fix this? Oh, thank you. Let me just go get some trees and we can at least like put some trees down we don't have to like fully decorate or anything right now but at least some trees to fill in the space would be nice okay let's see what are some good little spots does it let me put one here i very much doubt it oh oh okay i stand corrected that's fine i will also put one right here i'm just trying to like add some some extra trees back here so that they're like in the back of abel's you know so it like helps this area look pretty. I only have one more tree, but this should be fine. 
let's see what else do i have let's just try to like decorate this tiny little section with like whatever i have in my inventory let's just do it <laughs> design challenge uh inventory mode <laughs> i'll start with some in-game pathing i like putting them besides the trees it's so cute and i'll just do like some extra little sprinkles wherever if there is a body of water nearby you bet your bottom dollar that I am putting a puddle next to it. I have three flowers. Okay, so one will go right here on this little square. I'll put one right here on this square. And why not? Let's just put one here on this square too. I'm going to do just a little section of our little flower path. There we go. I'm going to put a little rock right here. Does it let me put an item right here? No, it doesn't. Does it let me put one right here? Oh, yes, it does. Okay, this is a little more difficult than I thought. I thought it was actually going to be easy because, like, I had some cute stuff in my inventory, but it was not as much as I thought. I don't even have... Uh, oh, no, I have one little clump of weeds. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, wait, there's one right behind the Able Sisters. Okay, now I have two. I have two. I'm not, like, forced to use whatever's in my inventory. I just thought it would be, like, funny to do right now. But if I want to get, like, more items, I can. Uh, let's do some bees. I'll do one clump of weeds right here. And then, I don't know, I have this classic picture. We could just <laughs> put it on the floor, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna call that done. Yep, all right. We decorated this spot with literally whatever was in my inventory and custom designs. So, so we can just like continue doing like this kind of stuff all the way up this little path until we get up here. I've been meaning to fix these cliffs. You see how it's just like one like straight across line like this, like a hard edge like this. Yeah, I don't like that. So I've been meaning to fix this. I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm trying to think what else do we have left to do? Uh, oh, we have Marina's house. And I mean, of course, to kick out Rory and decorate the newcomer's house, whoever decides to uh, move in, which really, if you think about it, that's not that much. I could do all of that. Well, maybe not the hunting, but I could do the two decoratings in one day for sure. I could do that in one day. We truly do not have that much to do. I mean, of course, I want to do some last minute touches all over the island, stuff like that, but... That can wait for last minute. That's why they call it last minute, you know? <laughs> okay, I think that looks much better. And also, I want to take a look at my map because I feel like I haven't been looking at my map ever. I think this is a pretty cute map. I truly have not messed with the cliffs too much. I don't know what to put in this empty spot, so I think I'm just going to throw down a picnic. So we'll just toss one down here, even though there's one literally inside of the heart, which is like on the other side of these cliffs, but whatever it's it's fine i'll just put some random stuff around like custom designs um weeds flowers let's fix these flowers that are hiding back here i see them i see you you can't escape i also totally forgot that i ordered this item from the nook stop and i was going to include it in this build i was going to put it like right behind the um like teacher desk and i totally totally completely forgot but let's see if we can just still like squeeze it in i think that looks cute that just adds like some height you know <gasps> yes this bicycle this cruiser bike is so much cuter than like the mountain bikes that i've been using i also think this is going to be the last time that i include watering flowers in the daily routine because truly i i think that these pink ones have spread pretty significantly and i think that they can spread nicely enough uh they can you know they can finish spreading on their own i don't think they need my help anymore we just have a few more spots to fill up so i think they're gonna be okay let me replace this dusty crusty bike with the cute one it looks so much better yes well i have been recording for quite some time now so i think that is going to be it for today's episode, I feel like we were very productive. I love our little um, pottery class area. That was very fun. So I am going to get going. Oh, I haven't seen all the crops grown in here. This looks so cute. Tomorrow, I think I'll probably work on Marina's house slash trying to time travel to kick Rory out. We'll see how it goes. But for now, I'm going to get going. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.